can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. The Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to you today with those words. To you in this building who are participating in the murder of your own children, who are facilitating the murders of babies in the womb, and who are actively participating in the murder of defenseless, innocent children. The Lord God is speaking to you today, and he is saying, you are without excuse for your actions. You know the truth. You know that God exists. You know that he is the creator of all things, and you are acting in opposition to his known and revealed will. You know that it is wrong to murder. You know without anybody having to tell you that murdering your own child, murdering a baby in its mother's womb is against his holy law. And because you are participating in that today, the wrath of God is upon you. In fact, it is evidence of his wrath that is upon you. The fact that you would murder your own child or participate in the murder of tiny babies in their mother's wombs is evidence that God's wrath is on you. Hearken, hear my words today. Hear the words of God. Understand because you are breaking his law, you are rebels against him. You are his enemies, and he will deal justly with his enemies. And on that day, on the day that you meet him, you, he will judge you righteously for all of your actions, for everything you do in your life, including what is happening in this building today. And you will be found guilty by the one who knows all things. And the punishment for your known guilt will be eternity in hell. And that will be a just verdict, and that will be a just sentence. But God is not just just, and we are not here to bring justice to you or to your babies. We are here to bring you the good news of Jesus Christ. We are here to proclaim God's full character to you. And God is righteous, and God is just, and God does have wrath. And those things will be put on full display when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back. But the Lord Jesus Christ has already came once, and he came not at that time to judge the world, but to save it. And the Lord Jesus Christ gave his own life. He suffered and died on a cross so that sinners like you and me, rebels against God, could be forgiven of our sin and could have right relationship with God. Jesus hung on the cross. He was scourged, whipped, beaten, spat upon, mocked, and hit, and finally shed his own blood on the cross, bearing the wrath of God out of love for his people, out of love for God's creation so that sinners like you and me could be forgiven of our sin. See, this is the mercy and love of God that we have come to proclaim to you today. And the Lord God of heaven and earth says, if you turn from your sin, if you repent and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be forgiven of your sin and you will have right relationship with God. And that is why we are here today to proclaim this good news to you and to urge you to turn from your sin and to turn to Christ. And if you do that, you will receive a time of refreshing from the Lord and all of your sins will be cleansed away. All of your sins, past, present, and future, will be forgiven 
by the God Most High. And you will have, you will be considered his children, his adopted children, rather than his enemies. So all who can hear my voice today, we beg you, we plead with you to turn from your sin and to turn to Christ. Repentance, please don't go in there today. They're murdering babies in there. And if you are here to murder your baby, we ask you to turn around and come and talk to us and let us help you. We love you and we love your baby. Please choose life for your child today. God, God sees what you're doing as murder. And he hates murder. And he hates murderers. But he loves sinners and that's why Jesus Christ died on the cross. So that sinners like you and me could be forgiven of our sin. So please, we're begging you today. We're pleading with you. We are God's ambassadors coming to bring you his message. His message that Jesus Christ saves sinners. Turn from your sin and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And be forgiven of your sin. Time is short. Your time is short. You do not know. You are not promised tomorrow. You have no idea how long you are going to live. You have no idea when the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back in judgment this time. And not to say, you have heard this message of reconciliation and of good news. You have no excuse anymore. Please repent. Stop what you're doing. Come out from that building. Tony. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ so that you may be saved. We love you. We love you, baby. We love you, guys. And we don't want you to perish. Please turn from your sins and turn to Christ.